I think Jake is the perfect candidate for us to recreate with AI. <laughs> Jake is not aware that this exists right now. Frankly, once we show that what we've done to him, uh, he'll give us consent. Consent, 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 consent. Previously on Corridor Crew. Who's that? What is this? It's freaking Nico. I've been really impressed with Nico's ability to harness the power of deep fakes to recreate someone's likeness, whether it's pre-rendered or recently as we've seen in real time. However, there is a key thing missing from those recreations, and that's the voice. So I'm gonna figure out the other half. I'm going to figure out how to make some great AI voices. I'm not gonna get too deep into like the code and processing right now because there's already a lot of services out there. We've messed with Replica Studios. My family was butchered by Hellspawn. Another uh, company called Resemble.ai. How can you call this a world? Now there's lots of great features within these programs. However, the actual voices, they're a little bit lacking. I wonder what sound you'll make when you hit the ground. A lot of these voices kind of sound robotic. Each time I've experimented with them, it kind of sounds like late 90s text-to-speech. Hello, I am Macintosh. It sure is great to get out of that bag. So that's where I, I got in deeper. There's a company called Descript that purchased the algorithm called Lyrebird, and they've integrated it into their transcribing software. And it sounds so good. Hey, Ren. Hey, Peter. I hope you're impressed with my super cool robot voice. In the future, I will only type my words, and this robot will tell them to you. Not bad. That was crazy. Not bad. Dude. It's not bad. That's the quality of like a proper voice set and like proper training on a proper AI voice model. When you say proper, wow. what does that mean? To record the voice data set, I basically just recorded myself for about 15 minutes. I read a D and D book. So it's like you did all this training and you gave that training data to them for them to synthesize your voice. But now that that's, that's something that they now just have. They have it, but I don't think they're allowed to use it allowed. You know how like sometimes you click, I agree to your terms of service. I consent to this. For this service, they make you literally speak into a microphone as a recording saying, I'm consenting and I'm aware that I'm providing my voice to this service. And once it's uploaded, it can be replicated. Like I have to, I had, I had to literally say that into a microphone and that was my signature. Dude, uh, <laughs> you gotta do some tongue twisters. Something that you would be challenged to actually say but the computer can say because it's a computer. Here you go. Betty Butter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter will make my batter better. So twas better Betty Butter bought a bit of better butter. <laughs> that one's kind of nice. <laughs> All right. Dude, that's, that's nuts. Great. That's nuts. Wow. Guys, I don't know how to express myself very well, so I had an AI express myself for me. Anyways, well, here's, here's the song. I dedicate the song to you. I love Peter and Ren. They're my favorite friends. I hope we'll always be together until the end. Peter is so smart and Ren is so sweet. I can't imagine my life without them by my side. They make me laugh and they make me smile. I'm so grateful they're in my life. I love Peter and Ren. They're my favorite friends. I hope we'll always be together until the end. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was romantic. I could literally do this forever because the computer would just keep doing it. So, I've been doing some thinking here. Fun fact, there has never been more people working at Corridor's studio than at any other point in time. Well, that adds a lot of pressure for Jake, because he is in charge of managing everyone's schedules and workloads, studio meetings, presentations. Now, oh, on top of it, he handles almost all the brand integrations for every video. Today's sponsor, today's sponsor, today's sponsor, today's sponsor. Ah! Ah! Dude, what my leg? Jake has more pressure on his plate than ever these days. I think he is the perfect candidate for us to recreate with AI. In order to alleviate some of that workload, I know he's gonna love this because the AI can automate a lot of the tasks that require his vocal presence. However, Jake is fearful of new technology and AI. Do you think an AI will be a government body at some point? God, I hope not. Jake lives in a small compound in Texas and to him, his rights, his privacy, those, those are very important to him. And so I know that if I'm going to go to him and say, hey, Jake, 
In order to do this, I'm going to need you to certify and consent to all this stuff, and we're sending your voice to another company, and they might own your voice and all that. He's not going to want to sign up for that. We have a challenge here. The way you submit your voice set through this service is by speaking into a microphone, a, a consent form. It takes that recorded sentence, pairs it up with your data set, and makes sure that this data set and the person agreeing and consenting to everything are the same person. So I can't make a fake Jake voice unless he consents to doing it, something I know he won't agree to. If you're a filmmaker, sometimes you know that you're gonna have to film somewhere you're not supposed to be or do something, you know, you, know, you wanna get the shot. And so there's a little phrase that, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to get permission. Unfortunately, in this case, we absolutely need his consent to do it. And so we're gonna take the hard path this time by manufacturing his consent. The funny thing about this is that Tscript is supposed to be a podcast transcription service where you upload your podcast and it breaks down all the words. I'm using the same software that I would be using to recreate his voice to, you know, mash these words together. I can literally just type it in here. I can say, currently. Does he say currently ever? Oh. In our world currently. Oh, boom! There we go. That's one word down, you know. Do, do we have a speech? Oh, yeah. To do a speech? Oh, we got speech. You need his name. Oh, yeah, Jake. <gasps> of course, me, Jake Watson. Yes! <laughs> if you have a podcast where you have hours and hours and hours and hours of your voice recorded out there, are you at risk for having someone make an AI version of you? Yes. Is this immoral? Yeah. I mean, yes, absolutely. This is totally immoral. But the thing is, is that thankfully, I know that Jake, once he sees the final product, he'll feel like he would have agreed. Three hours later. Ren, do you remember how I mentioned that I had to speak consent? Yeah, yeah. So I've laboriously gone through <gasps> and recreated his consent form. Oh my, oh, this is, this is dirty. This is dirty. All right, here we go. It's going to be funny. I here I verify that I Jake Watson I am currently speaking and that I'd like to script to create an overdub version of my voice. I understand that this overdub voice can be used to create a speech that sounds like my voice. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Some words I just can't find, but I've kind of like mashed a few words together <laughs> and I, I think I I think it's gonna work. So I'm going to submit this and see if I can get it to train the data set of all our podcast footage of him to create an AI Jake voice. <laughs> oh man, Jake of all people wouldn't be happy about this, but at the same time, he will like the result. <laughs> I think maybe. This is like breaking into a facility and like knocking someone out and then holding their hand up to the scanner. You know? <laughs> oh my God, this to is exactly print. that. <laughs> I feel like I just witnessed a crime. Technically, you may have. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Oh no, dude. Come back tomorrow. Let's see if it worked. Jake sent me voicemail. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I've got a big announcement. Today, I've decided to fly to Ukraine to support the defense of their capital city, Kiev. You might not see me in videos for a while until I get back. This AI voice will cover for me in the meantime. Say hello, you little rascal. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Just wait, just be clear. Jake doesn't know that this exists. Jake is not aware <laughs> that this exists right now. And you're not supposed to make AI models people's voices. You're not supposed to do it. Yet we've seen so many, <laughs> so many things like this. Like, oh, we took Mark Hamill, you know? You scoured the internet, you found tons of images of people's faces, did all that stuff. Did you get their permission to do it? No. 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 Public personalities, their, their likeness, the sound of their voice, it's out there in the world. And it doesn't take much to go out there and capture it, you know? So, so anyways, we have Jake say whatever we want him to say, <laughs> which frankly, once we show that what we've done to him, uh, he'll give us consent. But the best way to convince Jake is if he can see the effect that this voice has on other people. This voice lends itself to like him just espousing wisdom with inspirational quotes like this. 
the sun, the source of all our power. What would we do without it? There is also a smaller, tidy sun inside each and every one of us. I'm making a Jake PSA that's supposed to be like, all right, here's like an update on like my thoughts about work and studio protocols. I think that would go over really well. If you can see the effect this AI voice in his likeness has on the team, he'll be sold. So we have finally figured out the best use for Jake's AI voice, and that's going to be an inspirational team building presentation. So in the same theme of taking work off of Jake's plate, we've created a script using GPT-3. All I'm going to do is give it a few key facts about Jake. What, he's from Texas. I know he's getting into bow hunting, but I'm gonna let it kind of do the rest and fill in the gaps. I think this is gonna work out really well because all he has to do is sit back, relax, and watch as the effect of this AI voice uh, changes everyone's mood. It's going to inspire them, it's gonna motivate them. It's, you know, it's a team building exercise. It's gonna bring everyone together. And if he can see that look on their faces, we will surely get his post consent to do this whole video. I mean, just you watching this video right now probably means this whole thing's gonna work. So we've scheduled a meeting for today at 4 p.m. We've told everyone it's a routine scheduling slash studio protocol meeting. Jake's gonna hop on a video call with us. Does, do you hear it? Yeah, when you play the video, I can hear it. You can hear the video? And once we make sure that his end's working and he can hear everything that's going on here, we are gonna put him on mute and let his AI voice do the talking. So with all the new people joining us, we wanted to do a little company culture thing. So actually, Jake put together a video out in Texas for us. What's that? So he worked really hard on it, so if everybody could just watch it, you know, I can see what you guys think. Okay, cool. All right, so yeah, Jake, what, so is this the pilot Jake wants us yeah, to play? Yeah, that's what he sent over. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about team building. As the Corridor team grows, it's important to be aware of what makes a strong team, and most importantly, a strong business. <laughs> if you want to succeed in business, you have to be a team player. And if you want to be a team player, you have to be from Texas. <laughs> There's just something about Texans that makes them the perfect employees and business partners. Maybe it's our fiery attitude, or our willingness to work hard, or our Midwestern work ethic, or the hot air balloons we use to hunt goats with our bow and arrows. <laughs> why hunt goats, you may ask? Because they're delicious, that's why. But I digress. Whatever it is, Texans make great team players. And that's why businesses succeed in Texas. But what else makes a business succeed? The sun. <laughs> the sun is the source of all our power and businesses in Texas thrive because of our abundant sunshine. So if you want to start a business in Texas, you need two things, a team player and plenty of sunshine. But there's a whole lot more in this big old world than just Texas. What about other parts of the country? What does it take to be a team player elsewhere? In order to be a team player in another state, you need to understand that state's culture. For example, in California, you need to be aware of the Silicon Valley culture. <laughs> in New York, you need to be aware of the Big Apple culture. In Texas, you need to be aware of the feared Lone Star culture, a culture where only the strongest and most ruthless business people can survive. As we all know, the human brain is a powerful organ, and it's especially powerful when it comes to team building. The human brain is divided into two hemispheres, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. <laughs> the left hemisphere is responsible for logical thinking, while the right hemisphere is responsible for everything else. That's why it's so important for businesses to have a team of people who can think logically and a team of people who can think creatively. In layman's terms, that means a team of Texans and non-Texans. <laughs> Without that, that business is doomed to fail, just like the dinosaurs who died from a lack of sunlight. <laughs> so if you want to be a team player, you have to be strong. You have to be tough. You have to be from Texas. Or you have to be from a state with a strong culture. That's why I'm moving to California. <laughs> He's moving back. I'm excited to be a part of the Silicon Valley culture. 
I'm excited to learn about the Silicon Valley way of doing things. And I'm excited to be a part of a team that's going to change the world. <laughs> <laughs> you might be asking me right now, how are you going to change the world? What new project is up your sleeve? Well, that project is still a secret, <laughs> but I can tell you this. It's going to involve a lot of culture, a lot of team building, and a lot of sunshine. <laughs> so stick together, grab your bows and arrows, and get ready to take on the world. Because the Corridor team is going to change the world, one goat at a time. Wow. 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 Yeah. wow. That's yeah. pretty great. Yeah, yes, questions or thoughts? Yeah. Jake, do you want to like elaborate on this at all? All right, here's, here's the real deal. What? I had nothing to do with that. But how? That was your voice. That was AI voice. Well, you did sound kind of down in the dumps. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, um, I did this without your permission or with your knowledge. Yeah. And unfortunately, because I'm using a service that requires your uh, consent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. I transcribed nine hours of our podcast to find the exact words that you say to trick the voice ID into thinking you're giving verbal no. consent. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Sam, you, you, might ha you might be going to name and likeness jail. This is so sketchy. If, we, if I don't get your consent, we can't release this video <laughs> because I might get banned from the service and who knows what else. Are you dressing me on camera in front of all of my coworkers for consent? I just need your consent. I know. I, I don't know what you're doing with this. We're not consenting to giving away your voice. I'm still in control of it. I don't know if I believe that. It's not like the company gets to use your voice. It's only to prevent people from using other people's voice for malicious purposes. Well, obviously that didn't work very well, did it? <laughs> yeah, but, but... Obviously we've got a workaround here. Well, I, I'll, let me just say this. How about this? How about this? Why don't you consent right now? And then I'll let you, like, take it back if you don't feel comfortable later. Right. Right, yeah, that always works out well for people. I, I would, I, Jake, I would never use your voice to harm you. I'm just saying here on camera, I, I've not used it for anything else <laughs> other than the voices that are in this video. Other than that, I've not messed with it at all. The crime is committed. I, you know, I messed up, but we can fix this. There's a phrase in Texas and it's come and take it. But I took it. <laughs> you did. But I didn't. Consent, 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 consent. Jake, I mean, just listen to everyone. They, lis they listened to you, your voice, meaning that this has potential in other realms, whether we're doing branded segments, other things. But we can't utilize it unless, you know, we get your, your consent. I, I, really, I really was inspired by the speech. The speech was good. Yeah, and it's all about team building and all that stuff. I'm feeling so inspired. Yes. I just can't use this inspiration because it's just dirty, because it's non-consensual. Oh, okay. pending, pending his consent, obviously that removes the dirty feelings here. Who would be inspired if he was to consent to this? Oh, yeah. Oh, Without question. Oh, yeah. Never been more so Jake, do we have your consent? Sure. I just need your consent for this one video. You, you, have, you have my consent for this video. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. You have it right there. He has consented to this video. In the future, we'll ask for consent every time. At the beginning. Sam, I'm gonna be in town next week, and I'd like to do some brand integrations using this voice. We can now have a virtual Jake where we hit a content button, we hit a brand integration button, and it prints brand integrations. Yeah. All right, there we go. Well, that was a fun video. The fact that Sam was able to navigate this technology shows just how smart and handsome he is. If you guys like this video and are looking for more fun videos with AI, consider checking out our website, CorridorDigital.com. There, you will find a playlist with some wacky episodes from our exclusive show, Crew Cuts. Thanks again for watching. 
And don't forget to subscribe. This is Sam, I mean Jake, signing off. <laughs>